Brosto, cheat and death. What, what, what do you mean, bro? What do you mean? All right. Now, throughout my life, I've had a few brushes with the old Grim Reaper, if you will. I mean, I did do a cartoon on the time that I fell asleep at the wheel and crashed my car like an idiot. Surely, if I'm capable of doing something like that... I did react to that. I don't remember it, though. Chances are I've had a few other near-death experiences in my life. So today, I'd like to go over a few more times where I uh, peeked at the Grim Reaper's Uno hand, if you will, and cheated death. Now, the first instance I want to go over is the time that I spun out on the highway. Or, excuse me, <clears throat> the three separate times that I've spun out on the highway. Now, I don't know what the odds are of surviving three spin-outs, but you can call my... Bruce Willis from the movie Unbreakable because I'm either lucky as hell or I'm invincible. One of the two. Now, the first time I spun out in the highway, I was driving in the rain. And yeah, I might have been speeding and doing some stupid... Sp there you go. And what car was it? Was it a fast car? Because I can understand. You trying to go fast, do a little drifties, all that? What kind of car was it? Speed racer. My Chevy Cavalier, who's to say? Well, next thing you know, I'm frisbeeing Chevy across Cavalier. the highway like a maniac. Now, luckily on this instance, I came to an abrupt stop and I didn't hit anything. Now, the second time I spun out, it was once again raining, but I wasn't doing any stupid speed racer sh this time. My friend was, and I was sitting in the passenger seat. <laughs> well, next thing you know, we're boomeranging his Geo Metro across the highway, but luckily, once again, we came oh my to an God, abrupt Geo stop Metro, and we bro. didn't hit anything. Now, the <laughs> third time that I spun out Snow. on the highway like a stupid idiot, it was snowing outside, and my dumb ex was the one that was driving at the time. <laughs> well, next thing you know, we hit a patch of black ice, and yep, you guessed it, we're fucking helicoptering an F-150 across the highway. And this Fuck time, that, we, bro. uh, well, we fucking hit some shit, that's for sure. Initially, we slide ass first into the guardrail, and then we and Tom Tomahawked? I don't know. I'm running out of shit that spins. We break dance this F-150 across four lanes of highway, and then promptly smashed headfirst into the other. F-150. Oh, nah, gang. F-150. Fuck, that's scary, bro. I don't, bro. I don't play in the snow, bro. Only time I fuck around in the snow, empty big parking lot. <laughs> we hitting them drifties, okay? We hitting them drifties. In the street, boy, I'm not going past. I'm not going past 30. 35 max. I'm not. I'm not. No, bro. Highway? 50 on a 65. Less, maybe. I'm not. I'm not. Bro. Out of here with that, bro. Guardrail. Now, thankfully, oh, thank we didn't you. murder anybody, and nobody was seriously hurt. Well, <clears throat> nobody besides the F-150, that is. That truck was six ways to sunday and i guess i should Sheesh. mention that uh well it wasn't even my ex's truck it was her brother's brand new truck that he was letting us borrow to move a couch of all things oh what the fuck you guys just crumpled up my truck like it's last week's homework but hey guess what we didn't die we <sighs> cheated death so take that grim reaper Shit. i see that fucking wild draw four in your hand you shiesty little bitch you can't kill me all right possible vehicular Shit. check you what's know, next well, another time that I, uh, screen peeked the old Grim Reaper and once again cheated death was a time when I was duck hunting with my dad when I was a kid. Now, on this day, it just so happened to be windy as hell outside. And when I say windy, I mean fucking, like, hell and hunt windy out there. I don't know what the hell we were doing out there in the first place. So we're walking along the woods when suddenly we hear something that sounds like a lightning bolt. But instead of a lightning bolt, it was a fucking giant tree branch coming down right on top of us. Oh, shit. Now, I have two specific memories of what happened next. One was me running like it was the goddamn apocalypse, and two was seeing my dad run, which was a very strange sight. It was like seeing your fucking math teacher in the grocery store. It was unnatural. I was looking back <laughs> like, what the fuck? When did... That's a good point. Y'all ever see your parents run, bro? <laughs> Y'all ever see your parents run? Dog. My dad learned how to run. Now, luckily, we <laughs> escaped getting murdered by what was essentially half Bro. a tree splitting apart in the goddamn Helen Hunt wind. And I'll never forget watching my dad swear at this tree like the tree did it on fucking purpose. <laughs> ah, you piece of shit tree, you trying to kill us? God damn it, I ought to beat your ass, silly. And then after that, we just kind of walked off and just pretended like nothing even happened. Hell, even when we got home that day, my mom was like, well, how was the hunting trip? Oh, it was good. It was a good time. Don't worry about it. Nothing happened, all right? It was good. And I just yeah. stood there. You gotta keep it like that, bro, because mama, she wasn't gonna let you go out anymore if she knew what happened. 
are like, is this motherfucker <laughs> really gonna gloss over the fact that we almost got pulverized by a goddamn Back. sycamore tree? Yes, yes indeed, that's yep. exactly what he did. Because when you're a dad and you almost get you and your kid killed, you tend to keep that shit to yourself. But hey, whatever, yep. I didn't die <laughs> once again. So eat shit, Grim Reaper. I see your punk ass hiding in the facility bathrooms. I'll still beat your ass with a shitty clob, I don't care. All right, getting pancaked by an elm tree or whatever the hell it was. Check, what's next? Well, another time that I moved all my battleships around mid-game and once again cheated death ah. was when I almost drowned at a water park. Or more specifically, a wave pool at a water park. Oh, infamous for drowning, bro. What? Literally infamous for drowning, bro. You gotta be careful in this bitch too, bro. You go too far, them waves, they're not consistent. You'll have the little regular ones, maybe some good high ones. You expect a little one? <laughs> Bye. Now you might be sitting there like, ah, oh, come on, everybody's mm. almost drowned in a wave pool at some point in their life. Facts. That's the whole point of a goddamn wave pool. The closer the you point. are to death, the more fun that you have, you stupid idiot. Yeah, well, that may be so, but this was probably the only time that I actually thought that I was going to die. Like, even when I was spinning out on the highway like an idiot, I was like, eh, this is no big deal. I'm sure I'll be okay. Yeah, well, with this fucking wave pool incident, I got to stare directly into the asshole of death, <laughs> and I did not... <laughs> Yo, this is crazy. This is crazy. Like what I saw. All right, so there I am, eight years old, hanging out in a simulated drowning machine, aka the wave pool. And I'm having fun. I'm in the deep end, you know, where the waves are the biggest. Surely this won't backfire in my stupid little fucking face. Well, if you're a wave pool enthusiast like I was, you know that all it takes is one missed time wave, and all of a sudden you go from having the time of your life yep, to yep. fighting for your goddamn life yep. in a matter of seconds. Well, that is exactly what happened to my little ass. I take a wave directly to the face and promptly ingest so much pool water that to this day when I burp, it still tastes like fucking chlorine and little kid piss. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Well, now my rhythm is all screwed up. Oh, he's stressed. He's stressed, bro. Oh. And I am just getting mollywhomped by wave after wave after wave. Dog. All of a sudden, I realize I'm spending a lot more time underwater than I am <laughs> above. above water. And last time I checked, I'm not a fucking bluegill, so this is bad news. Meanwhile, the lifeguard's up there totally oblivious, smoking a cigarette and playing Tetris or whatever the fuck. Well, at this point, I'm like, yeah, I guess this is it. Looks like I'm drowning in a public pool like an idiot. My fucking affairs aren't even in order. My family's gonna be stuck in probate, arguing over my holographic Charizard and shit. God damn it, what a shitty time to die. But then luckily for me, that asshole lifeguard couldn't find a long skinny piece, I guess, because he looks up just in time to see an eight-year-old that's <laughs> up in the wave pool. Well, all of a sudden, there's fucking whistles yeah. being blown, alarms are going off left and right, a goddamn Navy SEAL team's being lowered down via helicopter and shit. They end up shutting down the entire wave pool just so this lifeguard... Oh, that's embarrassing. Oh, no. ...could pull my little ass out. Everybody's all pissed off. People are hucking rocks at me and shit. Ah, you fucking shut down the drowning machine, you piece of shit. And to make matters worse, this lifeguard insists on dragging me the entire length of the pool. Even Hell nah. What? Once I'm good, I'm letting go. You, I... That's more humili humiliation right there, bro. No, I am perfectly A-OK -okay at this point. Hey, uh, nah. I'm OK. I think I can swim now. Shut the fuck up. I'm saving your life, you little shit. We get back <laughs> on land, and the lifeguard was not concerned for my safety. He was more pissed off at me than anything. What the hell was that all about? Didn't you read the rules? You are not allowed to drown yourself in the goddamn wave pool. Fucking kids these days. So then I just walked back to where my parents were and just, you know, pretended that I Nothing didn't happened. almost murder myself like an idiot. Well, how was the wave pool? Did you have fun? Oh, it was good. It was a good time. Don't worry about it. Nothing happened, all right? It was good. But hey, guess what? I still lived. I still cheated death. So fucking B6, Grim Reaper. I sunk your battleship. You can kiss my ass. I'm alive after all these years. The end. That's just scary, bro. <clears throat> Drowning is scary. I'm not gonna lie. Drowning, spinning out is scary as fuck too, bro. I pray I never deal with that or never go through that. You know what I'm saying? But... Fuck that. Uh-uh. I'm good, bro. I'm sure. Here's the thing, too. I feel like everybody, no matter how safe you are, everybody has gone through, like, a, like, a, like, a, one of these, bro. Cheating death experiences, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's your fault or, fault or not, you know what I'm saying? But everybody, I'm sure, has gone through it. 
Bro has had the same animation for 11 years. What a legend. Grim Reaper is either absolutely pissed or impressed. There's no in between. 621. Even the lifeguard clone is pissed. Worst. This lifeguard. <laughs> when your die runs from something, you know it's serious. <laughs> Boy, you better run right behind him, bro. You better dip. Bruce, too. Please don't. Okay. <laughs> crazy. Crazy, bro. Crazy, 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 crazy. W video man, let me know your near death experience. Let me know.